Fengsheng and Wuguang were built seven years ago. Since then, wars have been ravaging the world. Countless villages have been destroyed, lands have become barren. The fields are littered with corpses. The people are suffering. At first, the wars were meant to overthrow the tyrannical Chen. After that, all the wars sprung from the contention between Chu and Han. Shengbo, the time has come for us to put a stop to these wars. Indeed, the people of this land are looking forward to leading peaceful lives. But unfortunately, there is a reason for every war. May I remind you that it was the King of Han who first broke our alliance by betraying my king. These wars are a result of that. Wars that plunge the world into misery. It's fair to say that the King of Han is the chief culprit here. He should be condemned through the ages. We've come to discuss peace. These harsh words are unnecessary. The King of Han is willing to share the world with King Shang. As long as the people can live in peace, then our mission's accomplished. There is no need for our respective kingdoms to condemn each other. That just might work. All right, Lord Shao, let's hear it. Go ahead and tell me what your conditions are. All right, the map. This will be the border. West of the chasm is Hans. East of the chasm is Chu's. From now on, we'll divide the world as such and coexist. What do you think? It's a clear division. We can live in peace like this. Let's go with this. Thank you, Lord Shao. One more thing. What is it? If Chu and Han will live in peace from now on, well then, wouldn't you agree that it is time for King Shang to release the King of Han's family? <laughs> Lord Shao, you can put your mind at ease. Of course we will release them. Before I came here, King Shang asked me to relay a message. He said that you don't have to worry. Soon, the King of Han's family will be released. Everyone will be returned to you safe and unharmed. Thank you, Shang Bo. Thank you, Lord Shao. Shang has promised to release all of us. Really? Yes. I went outside, and even the guards treated me so much better than before. so many years we can return to the Han camp I look forward to living together with you as sisters by the way the king of Han is a woman named Shi Chi you can't underestimate her with you by my side you can advise me how to deal with her she framed me it made me pay dearly for Instead of going to 
into the hand cannon. I would rather go back home. What nonsense is this? If you go back there, who will take care of you? I'm used to living by myself. I can take care of my own. Besides, I still have my tavern to run. <laughs> I never expected to get through this ordeal. I thought we were going to die here. <laughs> Other things just didn't bother me anymore. so much with him. After all that suffering, you deserve to lead a good life. That doesn't mean anything. I only have two wishes. First, Second, for him to win the war and restore peace to this world. Other than those, I want nothing else. She will not be returning with me. She asked me to give this to you. This is... the money I returned to her. I never paid for all the wine that I drank in her tavern. Later on, I paid her everything I owed. I didn't expect she would leave this money untouched. Oh, don't move. Why not? What's wrong? Just stay still. What are you doing? Li Zhe. Yes? You've served my family your entire life. So, let me serve you this no, time. No, Your Majesty, I don't deserve Li Zhe. it. No, my lord. Just please let me stop. serve you this once. You mustn't. Don't move. I'm not worthy. Don't move. Don't move. I can't accept this. Li Zhe. Let me do this. My father may have been killed, if it weren't for you. For so many years, you've been serving my family without cause of rest. You took care of the young and the old as well. You've suffered too much.
was willing to do anything and everything for my husband and my children. I'll be happy if you can lead good lives. I have lived through fear and despair. There were many times when I just closed my eyes and wished for death. Because of my family, I can't die. I mustn't. Leecha. in the future. Whether I end up controlling the land or not, you will not suffer anymore. You'll always be my legitimate wife. All right. my queen. You have returned. You have finally returned, sister. Greetings, my queen. I shall take my leave. You two have a lot to discuss. Rise, let's talk. Thank you, my queen. It appears you've been busy lately. Not at all, my queen. I've always been worried about you. It's great that you're back. Liu Ying will be finally with this mother again. I'm very happy you've returned. I truly am. I've been gone for a long time. Thank you for taking care of him. I'd also like to thank you for helping the King of Han. I will never forget what you've done. One day, I'll make sure to repay you. No need. I only did what I had to. What mother doesn't always think of her children? We are actually of the same heart. Boji, today I asked you here in order to have a little chat with you. I'd like to thank you properly. You are too kind, madam. I really didn't do much. I don't agree. I know very well about what you've done. You have my admiration. If I had been in your shoes, I'm not sure if I could have been as resolute or as brave. You flatter me, madam. Would it be all right if I ask you a question? Yes, of course, madam. Can you forgive a person who is out to harm you? I know that the question is rather blunt. But the truth is, in our camp, there are people who have wicked intentions. Those who truly care about the King of Han, and actually want the best for him, are not many. Distinguish between right and wrong. Do not worry, madam. I've never had improper ambitions. 
I just want to protect myself. And so, rest assured, I will never do anything that would harm you. I know you are a kind person. I hope we can be good sisters for the rest of our lives. one thing that you need to decide on soon. What is it? Your Majesty, about the Crown Prince, I hope that you can revoke your previous order. Revoke my order? Lord Shao, it was you who urged me to appoint the Crown Prince. What changed your mind? What is this? Your Majesty, at that time, you were seriously wounded. We didn't know if you'd survive. But now that you've recovered, everything is well and good. Your Majesty, the Han camp is like a big family, and you are its head. Right now, Liu Ying and Ru Yi are still young. Naming one as the Crown Prince will result in a conflict. The most harmful thing in a family is discord between its members. Right now, the most important thing for us is to work together and defeat Shang Yu. I am taking the liberty to write down everything you said while you were in your sickbed that day. Please decide what to do with it. Your Majesty, I get the feeling that if we keep this document, it will only bring us trouble. Did I really say all this? These words were mine? Huh? <laughs> no, Your Majesty. You never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're back, or else that woman from Dingtao would have bullied us to death. You may leave. Understood. So what if I'm back? Have you forgotten? When we were in New Young, I was no match for her at all. You're the king's legitimate wife, and Lu Ying is the eldest son. Our Lu family gave everything to help the king, fortune, blood, and tears. At the end of the day, we shouldn't let an outsider reap the benefits. Don't say anymore. We should only listen to the king. Arguing would be a waste of time. And besides, a person's true nature may be hidden for a day or two, but it can't be hidden forever. But time waits for no one. Right now, she's the apple of the king's eye, and the dying will said... Not another word. From now on, never mention the dying will ever again. Pretend it never existed. The king wouldn't want to hear it, understand? Do you intend to bear with her nonsense? Have you forgotten how she humiliated you? There's no guarantee that such things will never happen again. The king has many women. He can have a new favorite any time. But now her biggest asset is not her beauty, but Ru Yi. Take action against her son instead of her. Shut your mouth. If he ever hears about this, he won't spare you. And not only that, even I will get in trouble. But I... Enough. Never say such things again. He went to play in the woods this morning, and then he was just gone. We've been looking for him, but until now, we can't find him anywhere. Madam! Madam! Lord Shao, please come and see. He was playing here just now, 
He's a very good boy. He never wanders far off. How could he disappear in the blink of an eye? Have you searched the surroundings? Yes, I have. I've searched everywhere I could think of, but he's nowhere to be found. Where's Madame Jean? Madame Jean? She fainted upon hearing the news. I don't know what to do anymore. Lord Shaw, do you think someone did this on purpose? Look at you. You can't even watch a child, Tobo. You were on garrison duty. Why could you can't be? find him, you'd be held responsible to. I don't care if I live or not. But if anything bad happens to Rui, Madam G is finished. Stop crying. Don't tell anyone about this. It's especially our king. Take some guards and look for him. And you should try to comfort Madam G before dusk falls. Rui must be found and appear before the king. If not, you may both be beheaded. <gasps> Understood. Now go. So noisy. Well, madam, it appears Prince Rui has gotten lost. So now, the entire camp is looking for him. Ask Lushi to come here. Understood. To the cave. Have you lost your mind, Lushi? You may be fighting with that woman, but do not forget, Rui is the king's flesh and blood. If he ends up dying, even your death will not compensate for your crime. Sister, I only did it for you. Enough. Stop it. Follow me. to report. Is it about the child? It is. 
the one who did this. Was Lushi. That they found the child. They're still searching. Consider yourself lucky. If Rui hadn't been found, I would have had you beheaded. But because of your sister, and also because the Lu family has done a lot to help me in the past, I shall spare you. Go! Go back to Bay County. I don't want to see you again. Get out! Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. It's great. That you're so sensible and magnanimous. I'm very lucky. Because in this world, there's nobody else like you. Come. Let's have a little chat. dispatched all of our soldiers in Yang Di. I see. Aren't you going to investigate this? I gave the order myself. 
Why should I? Is it your intention to give up Yang Di? <laughs> Mr. Chen Hong, Prime Minister Chen Hong, you were once the Chancellor of Qi. How can you be such a blockhead? <laughs> Could it be that all nobles are actually born like this? Why, you? As you know, the King of Han has named me the King of Liang. As such, he has granted me with a dozen or so cities in Liang Di. The final battle has come. It's the big one. Should I keep my forces in Liang Di? If you insist on doing this, your forces will be weakened. Then, I suppose you don't know this. The King of Han is not a generous man. How can he give me a kingdom without expecting anything in return? If I manage to win the war, then I will become the real King of Lian. But if I end up losing, then how could I make him continue granting me more fiefs? <laughs> You're a fool. <laughs> you really are a scheming rascal. <laughs> Isn't Liu Pang one too? <laughs> Whether one is a rascal or not, as long as one wins, one will be a king. Hmm? Guards! Yes! Spread my orders. We are setting off immediately. We'll cut into Shang Yi's supply route. We'll go at full speed. No resting. Now go! Understood! at once. If we don't go now, the King of Han will definitely be in danger. That's right. If we don't move now, it'll be too late. According to our scouts, Peng Yu has already sent his soldiers. Peng Yu has sent his soldiers? Yes. They're already on their way. Hmm. Where are Shang Yi and his troops now? He just left Guangwu and is headed southeast. He should be near Peng Cheng by now. Considering his speed, he must be near Guling with the King of Han chasing after him. It will be hard to defend there. There is no doubt that this will be a fierce battle. This time, Shang Ye can't guarantee a win. So, if he chooses to retreat, this battle will end up in a deadlock. If we send our soldiers now, the King of Han will win! How many should we send? All 150,000, of course! When do we set off? This battle's very important to the king. We must find the perfect time to set off, to guarantee his victory. All right? We have one chance. should have gotten their fill of drink. They've fooled around enough. They must be tired of the women. Well, my lord, <laughs> where can they find women in this remote place? You're the only one with women. The welfare doesn't know how the starving feels. <laughs> <laughs> right, but anyway, we should get ready. It's time for war. My lord, why are we fighting again? That's right. Why do we have to? Why do you think Shang Yi withdrew in such a hurry? It's because his men are exhausted and they don't have enough supplies to last them another day. It's true that the treaty dictates West belongs to Han, East belongs to Chu. But do you actually believe we can finally put our minds at ease and enjoy half of the world? Huh? What are you doing? Get them out of here! You two, get out! Hurry up! Generals, think about it. Why did Chang Yi agree to sign the treaty and withdraw to Pang Chang? It's because he needs time to rest and restore morale. And once he restores morale, he'll fight us again without hesitation. And so, now is the best time to fight Chang Ye. We should pursue and defeat the enemy. I gave our soldiers a break for three days to eat and drink their fill. What did you think that was for? Was it to send them home happy? It's to raise morale. Actually, I don't want to wage a war. Besides me, our soldiers were also wounded. 
But after thinking about it, we need to fight this battle. We may have signed a peace treaty, but will Shang Ye follow it? Will he really leave us alone? In my opinion, we should take this chance to strike first. And so, my generals, return to camp and get our soldiers ready for war. The time has come. This will be a decisive battle. I think we all know it's going to be fierce. Yes, we know. Good. Now go prepare. Mm. Look, our understood. How shameless could it be? My orders! Organize our soldiers and station them in Guling. We'll meet their attack! Brother, we have traveled a very long way. Our soldiers are exhausted. They all want to go home. If we go to war with the way things are, we might end up losing. I've been waiting for this final battle, but I never got the chance! Listen. We may have signed a treaty of peace, but Liu Bang violated it and plans to attack me from behind. I must kill him this time, no matter what! Your Majesty, we're not in a good position to defend. We should hurry back to Pengcheng. You're wrong, General Mei. There is only one way to defeat them, and that's to meet their attack. Shut up, Lu Wan! King Shang, if we directly meet their attack, then we cannot lose! Then tell me! Why is he launching an attack? Does he want to die? I was afraid of this. He saw through our strategy. Liu Pang is nothing but a cornered dog. He's trying to buy time. That has got to be it. He's waiting for reinforcements from Hanshin and Peng Yue. General Luan, our scouts haven't been able to see any sign of Hanshin or Peng Yue sending their soldiers to our location. Your Majesty, we should retreat to Pangchung now. If they cut off our retreat, then the Chu army is finished. This time, we must defeat Liu Pang. Let's not give Hanshin and Peng Yue any chance to send help. Your Majesty, give the order. Uh. The soldiers of Chu never retreat. I have decided to go with Luan's strategy. Hurry and meet the Han army. Understood. received a reply yet. Lord Shao, we can't rely on others. <sighs> we must rely on ourselves. Let's prepare to fight our way out. We've lost before. Many times, in fact. I don't care about this defeat. We are different from Shang Ye's army. As long as we persevere, the situation will somehow be reversed. We must keep fighting Shang Yu. I let everyone know, Han Xin, Pang Yue, and especially Shang Yu, that we can win a war on our own. Always hiding in a hole. Once defeated, he'd find a way to hide. Brother, the food supplies we brought from Peng Cheng will all be gone soon. We have to hurry then. 
Pang Yi and Han Shen, any news of them? Our scouts in Liangdi are back. Pang Yue didn't send his men. And strangely enough, none of the scouts we dispatched to Qi have returned yet. It's not a good sign. I think we should retreat to Pang Chang, so we can turn the situation around. No. We can't leave. This time, I must kill Lupin before I leave. Brother, you can't be serious about this. You should know yourself that you're bringing about our own destruction. We've lost a lot of our men in this senseless war. Doesn't that hurt our you? Our soldiers have known their fates since the day they decided to join me. Chuchi, death is not scary, but dying in humiliation is. Spread my orders. Attack Yangsha!